What did the fox say? The fox said, ring ding 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 ring edding. E ring ding 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 ring edding. Wa pa 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 pa. Hey guys, if you like that automation, I'm going to show you exactly how to build it. I'm going to show you a simple version where we just use a text prompt and then I'm going to show you a more complicated version where you use a, the voice note like I just showed you. So it's something that I've been using in my everyday business. Obviously, I started using ChatGPT and I went to log on to the website and then I'd like fill in the GPT, like my prompts, whatever I wanted, a caption or a description or a summary. But then I got lazy and I love automation, so I decided I would connect it to Telegram so that I could just send a voice note to Telegram when I wanted something from the AI. Or I could just type it on and paste it into a Telegram chat and then get a response immediately. Uh, it's worked amazingly well and it really, really, really does save me a lot of time. So if you guys wanna check it out, I'm gonna show you exactly how to build it. Let's dive in. So to build it, we use a program called make.com. You can make sure to sign up using my link below. I get a bit of commission from it, so it really does help out if you sign up using that link. And it starts off with a Telegram bot. Uh, basically, if you want to learn how to create a Telegram bot, go to Telegram, type in bot father, and click start, and then you'll basically, it'll give you the prompts. You'll just say create new bot, give it a name, and then you'll get an API token. You get that token, you paste it back in here. So once you've got that, Ignore this router because there's this is just this basic thing that you're seeing here is just the chat, uh, just the text functionality. So if I type in what did the fox say, then I'll get a response. And it actually works quite well because doing the voice to text does actually take a little bit of time and does um, add some complexities to it. So anyway, so you would just not add a router, then you would add a module, open AI. Then you're going to select a model. Uh, text DaVinci 003 is the most advanced uh, AI of the moment that they have for this use case. Then you want to select the prompt and that's going to be text. Then you have your max token. So you do have a limit on the tokens on OpenAI. So to set a limit, generally it's defaulted to 16, which is way too low. So I've got it at a thousand, which you may need to adjust according to your needs. Then you have a bunch of other settings that you can do. You can sort of do more riskier answers and things like that. But for now, basically, this is just the basis of what you need. Then what I've done is I've used a text-to-speech from Google, which uh, uses uh, Google, uh, Google Neural 2, um, and that's also like an AI. But uh, if you don't want to use that, you can also use um, Eden AI, which actually does have a little bit, it's a little bit easier to set up. Anyway, so what you do is you can put in SSML, or you could just leave it as the text, as this is not too necessary. Select your language code, select your name of voice. Uh, you can have a man, a woman. I generally slow it down to 0 0.9, uh, MP3 is fine, I, uh, the pitch I also lower it a bit so it sounds a little bit more, more natural and then you just give it a file name, uh, also not completely necessary. And then at the end, just add another Telegram module, we're going to use a module called send a audio file, you put in the chat ID of your own chat ID, if you need to find out your own chat ID, type in on Telegram, go to user info bot and then just forward a message from yourself to that bot and then it'll tell you the chat ID. Put in the text and select Google Cloud text speech over here. And then that's it for here. And essentially that's going to be all you need to do if you want to just do a simple text response to get an AI response back in the audio form. If, you, if you're struggling with the, the, the speech, just you could take this out and then you just get a text response back. Okay, so now if you want to add the the speech to text to GPT and then back to text back to you uh, on Telegram. Then you have to add a router. So uh, you add a router, and then basically, if it detects that there's a voice file, then it's going to download that file, convert it from an OGA to MP3 using Cloud Convert. Then it's going to go to Eden AI to take that file, that's that converted file, and it's going to transcribe the audio into text. Uh, just let me show you this as well. You just need to use AWS over here and Cloud Convert File, select that over there. Then you have to wait 60 seconds for it to be ready to process. Then download the audio file. So just go here, public ID. Then you want to send a message to Telegram chat, just saying basically what it's deciphered from the audio file. So you can kind of check that it understood what you asked in the voice note. At the same time, it's also going to send that text prompt to chat GPT or GPT-3. Result, set the max number of tokens, and then it's also going to take that result from GPT-3, 
to uh, Google and it's going to, we're going to turn it back into a voice note uh, using the same as prior. And then we're going to send it to yourself again on Telegram, uh, making sure that you select the right files along the way. And that's pretty much it. It's, uh, I know it seems a little bit complicated, but it does work. And if you do try it, I would probably just try this baseline uh, just doing text without the speech-to-text stuff first. And then if you get comfortable, then add in that speech-to-text functionality. So if you guys like these kind of automations, make sure to do sign up and give it a try. Uh, you can use the link below. And if you are interested in learning a little bit more about growing your business and business tips, you can obviously subscribe. I try to do business tips and tricks to help you grow your business. And I'm Andy. Until next time, peace guys.